You're watching the ASP Productions on YouTube. Go ahead right now. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to hold your applause until Med 1 is configured yeah, to mirror that again. with the most sophisticated uh, intensive V100, care units. Uh, Commando when was made by Cadillac Grain uh, in the early 60s Air for, Med for the Vietnam War. Can make each moment uh, count. This is an early so version of that. You can see this Air turret on top. Med 1. Uh, this turret, this particular version, I'm turn it around. You see you've got a 50 cal, the minigun, and another 50 cal on top. But they did, they did, after a while, prove to be a little bit anemic, so they, uh, they actually Crandall. made so many Our different versions of Michael tops and sides for this thing. Uh, so if you ask me, did it ever have this, I could probably say uh, yes and not be wrong. Sure they smoke, uh, smoke grenade launchers on, on the top. They also did, uh, I believe, have mortar uh, launchers from the top as well. They were first in service in Vietnam, guarding airports and that sort of thing. Technique was further refined yeah, uh, during the Vietnam War. Navy, and the Marines, everybody military. was uh, getting it on the act. They're still in use today in various power. places. Um, there are a few the that are, most of them that are in service in the United person. States. Are, are being used in, in uh, police forces and that sort of thing. Their odds the, the first police force to ever to have one uh, was, if I'm correct, it was the Los Angeles Police Department, and they used them in very serious uh, situations. Uh, these uh, people would say, well, this would be the first thing I go after is the tires. And these are not run flats. These are just heavy-duty truck tires. Nothing uh, all that special, but they did have um, originally have run flats. This is a V8 engine, which is a uh, Kind of locked up right now. I can't show it to you, but uh, I can get most of my parts for the engine for this from Napa. Uh, Napa doesn't supply me with uh, any kind of weapon. We had uh, three radio transmitters. Uh, I don't know what you'd uh, do a whole lot with uh, a shovel and a pick, but I suppose uh, if you're really kind of stuck, you can do that. Um, one of the one of the sadder things. These, that the V100 did is they, uh, they did, a, did a lot of body collecting. And so uh, instead of having a rear gunner back here, they would have a plank back here. There's a drain hole at the bottom where these uh, where these uh, boxes go, and uh, that's yeah. They would have the drain hole open. They just pile it back up with bodies, which is a little bit morbid, but uh, yeah. This uh, vehicle also is. Uh, it's a water vehicle. This thing can take to the water. The water line will run right about, right about there. Uh, in fact, uh, I'm sure if you, uh, if you were to YouTube some, some pictures for this or Google some pictures for this, you'll eventually find pictures where you have a bunch of these lined up in the water. They look like crocodiles. You know, they do about three miles an hour in the water. Top speed uh, on land, 65, maybe a little higher, but. Uh, it's 12, all the 12 tons, so 65 is pretty, uh, with 12 tons and this kind of setup, and you can see it's fully articulated. This is really meant to do some serious off-roading. Um, I've seen some uh, old black and white footage when, uh, when the, uh, when the Cadillac Gage was trying to sell this, sell this idea to, this concept to the Army, some sick son of a gun that driving up in here and he got this thing airborne and landed in the water with it. You talk about your uh, original form. So this is, uh, supposedly they say you can get 12 guys in here plus your crew. You got a driver, you got a co-pilot, your radio man, your radio man. You got a gunner right there. Here's your gunner, and uh, yeah, that's uh, that's 360. You do have to kind of think about where you're pointing those guns, though, because uh, if you're just flying around and around in circles, you shoot your antenna mast off, you know, your mast antenna off, and then you can't communicate. So you just got to think about it. Um, access to the engine is super easy. These these sides just off they come, and I have full access to the engine without getting out of the vehicle, which is kind of nice if you get shot at. This armor. It's surprisingly thin when you when you put your fingers on it, but it's a it's a chromoly. Um Mix and it's uh, it's surprisingly thin. It can can take up to 50 cal. Uh, 90, 90 degree hit on a 50 cal would probably penetrate. Any tank missile would probably penetrate. Uh, most likely penetrate below every single window out of this joint. The windows are about this thick. If you look inside, you'll see. Uh, get an idea. 
it's so limited, but uh, I've seen pictures of these hit, hit with uh, anti tank, and all of these are blown out. The top is blown off. Every single door is open. You know that there was uh, with, with that kind of oil pressure, there was probably nobody to bring home. Do you mind if I uh, step inside? No, I'm, 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 and don't forget, go on over to the merchandise tent, get yourself a premium air show t shirt, and put it before your interviews for that great TV. My name is Kenneth Steady. I'm going to turn it over to Don Webb. Let him take over the controls. I'm going to Thank you very much. What a great job, Eddie. Let's give him a hand, everyone. I'm here, folks. I'm here, folks. It's, it's kind of tough to climb around, Chris. You might find that uh, well, if, you, uh, out there, the, so if you go toward the radio and you went up, you can walk across the top and go down right into the driver's seat. Right over here? Yeah, go ahead. Go back and just stand up and then just climb right over here. This is a tight squeeze. Would you please come to the stage? Ray Christian, would you please come to the stage? Again, I'm looking for Ray Christian. Okay. Are we done? Record for Thanks, thanks. Today we have a very special guest today. We have Jeff Booger from the BMBC. He's the manager of Community Affairs from the Motor Vehicle Commission. Yeah. He has a special award for the best in show today. He's the award. Watch out. At this time, we're going to announce the award winners. Uh, the categories were muscle car. Exotic, antique, and I'm not even walking in that time. Okay. I'm not quite sure what's going on the right now. Anyway, we have muscle car first. For muscle car, in second place, we have number six, the two thousand. And he's definitely be up there with some flak on I mean, flak jackets. They had flak issues. Number one place for muscle car. Can you show me how it uh, uh, turns? How it turns? Yeah. Torino by Bob Harris. Congratulations for winning first place in the muscle car category. Look at the wheels. Okay. Look at the wheels. Yeah, you can hop right in the seat. I'll turn it to you. It's hard to get in from that side. You can tell these weren't made for this. This seat goes up and down. You see the peg holes. Put some weight on it. I have the helmet here because it closes to get so you can get in there. So you get in here, drop the seat down, sit in the seat. This turns you around. There's a button up there. You'll see a, a little mushroom top button with a neural that, that uh, is now at 190, 180 de 180 degrees. When you turn it back, it drops down and that will, will lock this thing in the front or the rear right position. Oh, okay. You really don't want it locked in the front position because if you're driving, you get stuff in the gun. Now, <laughs> right? yeah. the, the snow gun. Oh, wow. In um, but that's a bell. Yeah, I mean, it's 50 cal. Oh, God. 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 Oh, Oh. It's too tight. In the second place category, for Custer, number one, congratulations, Ray. Mr. Tim Wagner, please come to the stage. Mr. Tim Wagner, please come to the stage. Zoom's been drinking. Last week, the last week, we have the number one part of Custer, 
driving there. Yeah, that was just gone. Four is me. Three window four. I read Christian. Let's Best win show for today. Great Christian and his four is me window. And as such, I have a plate here from the commissioner of the administration. It says classic. You played here. Congratulations, Ray. Great job. And again, uh, great work for the local vehicle. I'd also like to uh, take this moment to, to thank uh, Tim Wagner for his uh, leadership of the yeah, yeah. show. I have a plate here for the yeah, yeah. Thanks. Uh, thank you to the great jobs and the union program. We look forward to being a part of the going to play. Thanks, Tim. Thank you, everyone. Congratulations to all the winners, and thank you everyone for participating in the car show. If you're coming back here tomorrow, there's going to be even more cars here tomorrow. I'm sure there'll be probably different cars here tomorrow. So the car show continues on tomorrow along with the air show. Wow. I'm giving out some safety tips. I have to say that. Thank you very much. We're not smoking. Okay. Now, when you sit in that chair, there's a lever. There's a lever down here, and that'll drop that chair down so that you could you could throw these shut. Now, there's a see back over here. There's a button in the ceiling, a big old hand button, right down here. If you yank on that, that releases these things, and they are there is a serious spray. If your if your seat was in the up position. They would probably put you in the back and somebody else would be driving because this lid comes slamming shut. It's for, uh, you know, I'm, we're getting shot, I get, let's get down. And I don't have to climb out to close the hatch. I don't have to reach out to close the hatch. I just pull this button, hatch comes slamming closed, you drop the seat down, and now you drive, this is what you see here. That's impressive. It has, it's equipped, although this one doesn't have it. I haven't uh, been able to locate uh, one, but it has a winch that could lift the entire vehicle. Capable of lifting the vehicle. A winch? Yeah, it had a winch up front, capable of uh, lifting the vehicle. Uh, usually, uh, I won't say usually, but often the, uh, the spare tire was held in place by the winch, which makes sense, right? Okay. It's got two tanks. You can switch from tank to tank. It holds 80 gallons of fuel. And uh, the rest of it you get to kind of bring with you. Very impressive. Alright, let me get out of here. Alright. Now if you want to get down, the easiest way down for me is come right out on here and go straight down. I'll hold your camera. I'm here. I'll give it to you.